Hey everyone, I just got done watching LEGOCON 2021. Uh, there was some good things and a lot of bad things. Uh, I'm not one of those people who thinks for Star Wars that they should have definitely revealed the gunship, definitely revealed the gunship. Now, I'm not going to say I wouldn't have loved it, uh, but I wasn't expecting it, quite honestly. But we didn't get anything new. No Jar Jar Brickheads, no Mandalorian Forge. It was all the sets that we as adult fans had already known. Maybe the kids didn't know, but we as adult fans already knew, so it was nothing new to us, and it was just a waste of two hours of our time. Uh, but we can go over those sets, and I'm going to show you some pictures of those sets. So yeah, let's get into a deep dive. Our first set here is the Duel on Mandalore. The set is 147 pieces. It'll retail for 20 bucks, and it has the uh, two minifigures, Ahsoka and Darth Maul. Uh, now, getting into the minifigures, uh, well, Darth Maul is a new figure. It is an exclusive, and he looks awesome. He doesn't use the Monkey Kid uh, blade, dual-sided lightsaber blade that they used in Monkey Kid. Sadly, I think that would have worked a little bit better. However, it still looks fine. Um, my only and my only problem with this set, I would say, is actually um, the value. It doesn't feel like it's worth uh, quite twenty bucks. Uh, but it has some cool action figures. You can uh, put Maul in his uh, chamber. You can shoot him through the window, and there's a gun under his throne, which is pretty cool and awesome for playability. Our next set up here is the Mandalorian uh, Starfighter. This set has a five hundred forty-four pieces. It'll retail for sixty bucks in the U.S. It has three minifigures. All three minifigures look awesome, and they are all exclusive. Bo-Katan, a Mandalorian uh, loyalist, and uh, Gar Saxon, the Gar Saxon helmet. It's fabulous. I love the horns on the head. It just looks absolutely amazing, and I love it. Uh, now, with the wings here, you can flip them all kinds of ways in its landing position, its flying position, and you can actually have this ship flop, so you can see the studs on the left side rather than just the right, as you saw in that picture there, and you see its landing position there as well. Now, the underside actually doesn't look too bad, though it's anti-studs. It doesn't look bad. It doesn't bother me too much at all. Here's another picture of it, uh, kind of rotating the wings and showing how many different functions it has, has and it looks pretty awesome. So, uh, yeah. Our next and final uh, Clone Wars set of the Wave is the Bad Bad Shuttle. This set has 969 pieces. It will retail in the US for 100 bucks, and it has five minifigures plus a gong droid. I don't want to consider the gong droid as a minifigure. If you want to, go right ahead, six minifigures. And all the actual minifigures are exclusive, and they think they look really awesome. Wrecker has this new shoulder piece made just for him, and it looks really awesome on him. Uh, Crosshair is, uh, is in his Imperial uniform like he is in the show, which is cool. Uh, now, one problem I have uh, in, with the set is that when you pick up the back fin, it just lifts the entire thing up. Even the $70 Imperial Shuttle didn't do that, so that's disappointing. There's no like locking mechanism, but the figures, there they are. They look awesome. They're all exclusive, and they just look fantastic. Uh, Echo shouldn't be holding his gun in his right hand because he can't in the show, so that's a little bit of a fluke on Lego, but I think it looks awesome. Uh, now, a very controversial uh, thing with this set is the color scheme. The color scheme with the sand blue, not the gray. Uh, personally, I mixed on it myself. Uh, I think the gray is way more accurate, if you ask me. I don't think this uh, thing is very slightly uh, sand blue at all. Like, I see the blue hints on it, but it is nowhere near as sand blue as the actual LEGO model. Um, but I don't, I'm, I'm tired of all the gray and white uh, and black LEGO Star Wars sets, so it gives a nice contrast compared to the other sets, and I do like the design of it, and I'm excited to get it in hand in person. Now our next setup here, which is one I'm really, really hyped for, it's the Imperial Armored Marauder. It has 478 pieces, it'll cost 40 bucks in the US, and, it's for, and it has four minifigures. Uh, now these minifigures are the highlight of the set for me. Two Stormtroopers, you can't get enough Stormtroopers, I love them. And look at that yellow Stormtrooper. Oh my god, that thing is absolutely awesome. I am so stoked and I cannot wait to get that in person. Uh, it is it is exclusive to the set, including the Grief Cargo figure that is new. I don't know if all the prints are new compared to the uh, Razor Crest version, uh, but it is uh, exclusive and new, so I can't wait to see that in person as well. Uh, it is stud shooter, just like any other set, and it just looks awesome. And the value looks awesome as well with 478 pieces for 40 bucks. So, I mean, you can't beat that, and I am just super hyped for this set. Our next setup here is Boba Fett Slave 1. No, no it's not. It is Boba Fett Starship because they couldn't call it the Slave 1 for God knows why. I'm very disappointed that they couldn't do that. They've done it for several years calling it the Slave One and they just can't do it. I don't know why. It's Boba Fett Starship for some reason, not Slave One. I I, I don't know. It's, uh, but it it offers a good value. Uh, 593 pieces for 50 bucks. That is probably a better value than the previous set, which I think is an amazing value in and of itself. So that is pretty awesome. And you get too many figures. The Beskar Armor Manda with the uh, Beskar Staff, which is cool, but that's the same one we saw in the $30 Trouble on Tatooine set. Now, the Boba Fett is new and exclusive, and I can't wait to get that figure in hand as well. And I think for a $50 version of the Slave 1, or sorry, Boba Fett Starship, 
It looks awesome. I think it is a very good dumbed down version. It even comes with its own little display stand there. I don't know if that's why they have Boba Fett sitting on it. I don't I don't know why he's there sitting on it, but it's cool. It's neat. I'm glad they have that as well. Stud shooters just like any other set. And uh, that's pretty much it. Let's get on to our next set. Our next set up here is the Imperial Light Cruiser. Yes, it's not called Moff Gideon's Cruiser. I don't understand why like we can't really get these names right. It really bothers me. They did it with the Knights of Ren ship last year, calling it the Knights of Ren transport ship and not the Night Buzzard. And the Razor Crest at one point, the Mandalorian Bounty Hunter Transport. I, I don't get it. Uh, but this set will have 1,336 pieces. Uh, it'll cost 160 bucks in the U.S. and it has six minifigures. Three exclusives, uh, including Fennec Shant. Uh, a Dark Trooper, which is awesome. It has the same shoulder piece as um, uh, Wrecker in the Bad Bad Shuttle. Uh, and also Moff Gideon with the Dark Saber. The Dark Saber is disappointing. It's a regular lightsaber help with a black lightsaber. It's not like the uh, the thing that first comes to mind to me is like a Ninjago sword that they used back in 20... 2012 or something. Uh, I, I forget what year it was, but they had a sword that looks just like the Dark Saber. And I'm really upset they didn't use that mold or something similar to that. Or even just the regular uh, sort of like um, Ninja Sword in general and just kind of like dual mold it. Dual mold the handle. Uh, black while the blade is still or sorry the the blade uh, black while the uh, handle is still that gray uh, it, it's not the biggest deal um, but it's a little disappointing it has its own handle as you see there uh, it's it's actually the bridge of the ship it's like hidden because it's built into it so that's cool uh, so yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below a little disappointed by lego con uh, not the biggest fan of them not showing the gunship I, I don't mind that too much just nothing new for lego at all for us adult fans because we already saw this which was leaked, uh, and nothing new for Marvel either. That was also disappointing. Uh, they, they leaked the Thor's like house in Endgame, and they, we didn't get that revealed completely either. Uh, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I know this was a little bit of a longer video and an unexpected video. But yeah, let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.